The Life of a Prada Junkie. Y'all ready? I don't think y'all ready. I don't think you're ready. <laughs> but follow me. Now, this is a shelving unit from top to bottom. I purchased this shelving unit from Target for about $30. It is covered with a black shower curtain, plastic hooks, very cheap. And this is the shelving unit that I purchased for my products. So in the hallway, you don't know what's going on. You don't know. You know, company come over, they don't know what this is. But when you open this curtain, release the product junkieism of Dawn Yale. This is from a top to bottom, y'all. <laughs> all of my hair products. And I can't even tell you this is all of them, y'all, because all of my oils are still in the bathroom. This is the top shelf. You see the Diva Curls, Sorenzo Beads, Camille Rose, Vatica Frosting. This is the most used shelf right here. My Desert Essence uh, co-washing conditioners over here. My Bass products back there. Reve Essentials right here. All of my coals by nature. And I don't know if you guys can see how far back this stuff goes, but it goes back there, okay? Back there. I know. And then this shelf, uh, my Shea Moisture products, all the way back there. This pink basket has my uh, Terra Essentials hair washes, all of the scents in there. Hemp seed butter, some Jane Carter's Nourish and Shine, my uh, Onion Handmade Burn Sugar Pomade, uh, some Curl Junkie products. There's my hairdo right there. Jane Carter's back there, the Revitalizing uh, Leave-In Spray, the Wrap and Roll. There's even some gel back there. And then I got my Kinky Curly products here. Some RB Organics, which there's little to nothing in those. I don't even know why I'm holding on to them. Some butters, shea butters, mango butters, cupachu butters. Um, this product that I did not like, the Creme Brulee from Beja Floral Naturals. I'm still holding on to that. I mean, just my essential oils are in this Tupperware container back there. All of my essential oils, peppermint, rosemary, tea tree. They're all back there, some more gel. So, this is it. From floor to ceiling. And then I cover it up. And you have no idea what's going on. Mm, yeah. Um, so <laughs> I said this on Facebook when I posted the picture of the cabinets. Um, I said, you know, I, I am the one to blame for this. That's just crazy, you know. But there there are some ladies out there that helps me get this way, okay? I, I can't take all of this heat by myself, you know, because I'm just like you guys. I watch the videos. And somebody does a product review, and I'm like, huh, that sounds good. Go to the website, look at the ingredients. You want to give it a shot, right? There are some ladies I can put the blame on. But y'all know, these are my girls. I love them. I'm not going to put them on blast in this video. But they know who they are. You know, us YouTube vloggers, we come on here, and I know you guys are thinking, you know, they do all these product reviews, all these different products. Where in the world are you keeping all this stuff? How are you keeping all this stuff? Well, there you have it. And whenever I do my videos, I know you guys see me, like, gesture, and I'll point this way or turn my head this way. That's because my cabinet is right outside this door right here. <laughs> this bathroom cabinet was bursting at the seams, and I had to come up with something else. So I did that a couple of months ago, and... It works, but it's still crazy. I need to see some video responses, though. I know I'm not the only one out there. And, yeah, y'all need to start getting your cameras out, 
Get your stuff together. Start videotaping. Go on and post to my video. I'll accept it. But I know I'm not the only product junkie out there. I think that's a great idea on how to store them. It didn't cost me a ton of money. They have wider shelves if you really have a ton of products. And yeah, that's me. <laughs> Thanks for watching.